What's going on YouTube? Today we're taking a look at Facebook Home. This is currently announced as only being available on certain phones, but the crafty guys over at XDA Developer Forums have ported it to work on any Android device. I'm currently using it on my HTC Evo 4G LTE on Sprint, and as you can see, it is running. I've not installed the Chat Heads app, mostly because I just don't use Facebook Chat or Messenger, um, so that's why I haven't done that, but they've also ported that to work on any device as well. And I'll put links to them in the, the description down below, so you can check those out. My opinion on Facebook Home is it's pretty good if you are an avid Facebook user. I don't use Facebook too often. Uh, I'm not the kind of person that checks it on a daily basis or anything like that. Um, but if you are someone who checks this Facebook daily, this is pretty convenient, I think. Uh, I know a lot of people have complained about the lack of support for folders or widgets. I change my home screen all the time, so it hasn't been too much of a pain to use it. But if you do like having lots of folders and widgets on your home screens, then you might not like using this. Um, initially, anyways, it looks like this completely takes over your phone. Uh, it is pretty nice though. So you can see it's scrolling the cover photos in the background of people that have posted status updates. You can, if you choose to long press, then you can actually see the cover photo of the person that posted that status. If they post a picture, then long pressing will, of course, show the whole picture. Uh, but if you don't want to you know, interact with it, you just want to stare at your screen, it'll scroll by, and once it gets to the end of the picture, it'll go to the next status, and then it'll scroll the picture slowly in the background like that. Another cool thing is you can like things by simply tapping anywhere. I'll do a double tap here. You see you get the thumbs up with the little water drop sound. And then, you saw my my profile came up there. You can basically swipe to all of your apps, Messenger, or the last app that you used. Um, that's one way to get to all your apps. Another way is if you just press your home button. It takes you to this section, which is kind of your app drawer, plus two, what I would say, are folders. You can basically drag your most used apps onto these folders and just long pressing and you can move stuff around and it rearranges things for you and then you see if you swipe all the way to the left you have your uh, app drawer in its entirety so these are all your apps and then of course swiping back to the right takes you back to these two there is a button called more but basically if you press that you see I am now presented with my home screen and in that sense, home is kind of nice because it doesn't completely get rid of your launcher. So here I have my widgets. Um, you see I've got my folders here. And if you want to give home a shot, just know that you aren't you are not going to lose you know whatever home screens you have set up. So it's it's pretty cool. It's pretty convenient, I'd say, for people that really use Facebook heavily. And I'll put links to both of those files in the description down below for the home itself and for the messenger. One disclaimer um, to actually using it, you don't need to be rooted if your phone did not originally come with Facebook pre-installed from the carrier or from the manufacturer. If Facebook was something that you can uninstall, then you do not need to be rooted. Uh, if Facebook was installed on your phone, you might not be able to uninstall it. If that's the case, then you need to be rooted so that you can uninstall it and then in turn install the Facebook Home version of the app itself. So just a little disclaimer for you. But again, if you if you have something like a Nexus, um, one of the Nexus phones, those don't come with Facebook installed, so you should be able to uninstall it from those if you use it on those. And there are some devices that are not Nexus phones that also work, um, that lets you uninstall as well. So, good luck with that. Give it a shot. If it doesn't work for you the first time, then you're probably going to have to root. And go, go ahead and hit the home button. And go back to 
my home screen here. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure to hit that subscribe button up top. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for me, you can send me a message here on YouTube, or you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. So until next time, enjoy using Home on your Android device, and let me know what you think about it. Take care.